What's going on everybody? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and today I'm going to be showing you a super easy farm for what could possibly be the best, if not one of the best assault rifles in all of Outriders. Now if you were able to get your grind on, this three round burst AR packs seriously high base damage and once fully upgraded will reach epic level and therefore allow it the standard two mod slots. But before we dive into this really quick farm guide, a huge thank you for all of the recent subs and interactions surrounding my Outriders content. And just in case you haven't yet smashed that sub button, please do so. And don't forget to ring the bell to receive all future upload notifications from my YouTube channel. All right, not wanting to waste any more time, here it all is. Now, in order to perform this farm, you will need to first purchase the Hell's Rangers content pack if you don't already own it. I did not. So since I play on PC, I jumped into the Steam store, paid the $6.99 and was ready to begin the farm. Now, the reason you need this content pack is for one very specific weapon contained in this DLC, and it is the Earthborn Renegades Assault Rifle. Now, it doesn't look like much now because it's only at rare tier and at level 10, but once fully upgraded, this mouse turns into a monster. Oh, and by the way, in case you've already seen this farming method and how it involved you making a new character, playing the opening content, grabbing this rifle, and then deleting that character, the method I'm about to show you is much faster and can literally get you one of these rifles about every 45 seconds. Okay, so what you need to do first is go to your stash, grab this weapon, place it into your backpack, and then equip it. Next, run over to the Expeditions bench and select any Expedition you want, preferably one that does not cost you drop pod resources. Load into that mission and you are ready to begin. So just run into combat with this rifle equipped and get off a few hits on any target, and then just stand there and let the enemies kill you. Once prompted to retry or abandon, you wanna select Abandon. Once you have loaded back into your base camp, Oh, and FYI, you don't need to do this step I'm about to show you after each time you abandon. I'm just showing you this and why you will need to do what I am telling you to do. If you look at your stash where it once said inbox, you will now just see a locked symbol. Now to get rid of this, into your menus, select return to lobby, and then once you were in your lobby, select continue game. You should now be back at your base camp, and so you want to run back to your stash, open it, and now look at your inbox area. And if you've done this correctly, the Earthborn Renegades Assault Rifle has once again appeared in your inbox. Go ahead and take it out and put it in your backpack, and then just rinse and repeat these steps over and over again until you have as little or as many of these rifles as you want. Now, when I attempted this farm, I did it like 10 times in a row and then moved on to the next step. Now that you've got the assault rifle stockpiled in your backpack, run over to Dr. Zahidi and select the I need to upgrade my gear icon to begin. Next, select one of those level 10 Earthborn Renegade assault rifles in your backpack and then select the swap variant tab to begin. Now you will be prompted with either to swap to the standard or tactical variant and you wanna select the tactical variant tab, which should cost you 46 iron. Once you have okayed this swap, the game will not only change the weapon from a full auto variant to a three round burst tactical variant, but it will also randomly assign your new variant a random firepower number, ranging anywhere from a minimum of 280 up to a maximum of 400. Now the number you wanna see is 356 or higher, because once you fully upgrade this weapon through level ups and rarity, at a starting base firepower of 356, it will end up at a final firepower rating of 90,000. So if you can get anything higher than 356, you're doing pretty well, and you should just finish this up and call it a day. What makes this such a beastly rifle is a combination of actually several factors, including the insanely high firepower ranking once fully upgraded and the fact that it comes standard with the tier two bone shrapnel weapon mod. In addition, the burst rifle variants come with high crit damage multipliers and all around, this thing is a laser beam that pushes out huge damage numbers, especially when hitting those headshots and proccing the crit multipliers. 
Once you have fully upgraded your chosen base weapon through the use of iron, which you should have plenty of, the game will prompt you to select a second weapon mod and at this point it really doesn't matter what you pick, just assign anything to it because you can always come back in and change that second mod slot to whatever you want. Now the final step is to upgrade the rarity and this will cost you 617 titanium and that is what will push this weapon up into the 90k plus firepower area. Now all you need to do is upgrade the attributes of crit damage, status power, and long range damage. And if this thing came with short range damage, I doubt anyone would be using anything else for their high level expeditions. I mean, it's just that good. Let's go ahead and end this farm guide here, and as always, I am here to try and help you with explanations, so just leave your feedback in the comment section below, and I will do my best to answer your questions. In case you haven't yet smashed that sub button, please do so, and don't forget to ring the bell to receive those upload notifications from my channel. If you would be so kind, please rate and or share this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch for weekly streams, join my community Discord server, and of course, find me over on Twitter posting on most things gaming related. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.